And you weren't on. And they don't go after some outrageous. It does have to Yeah, it was Doris Day. Was it Doris Day? Yeah, you were right. I don't know if we can or not. Wait a minute. I don't know. Following that. No, I haven't been following the match. I don't know. Me, Tom, hooked up to this. I'm actually thinking that. Make board meetings a lot more interesting, you know, if we can turn them that support. So I think you guys talked about them. Come January, Thursday. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's yeah. not that I. Can you imagine that? Right? Wouldn't that be so? It's worth considering. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. 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 Y
agenda today is uh, President's remarks, uh, election committee report, Judy Butler, public comment, media questions, and adjournment. Any changes to the agenda? Hearing none, we will move on. Um, before we hear the results, I just wanted to take a, a few minutes to thank some folks who, who helped get us to this point. Um, Without question, those who came before the 10-year task force and those who were on the 10-year task force, the facilities planning group, the people who attend the sessions where the explanation was done as to what was being talked about and thought about months ago, many meetings that were held, the design sessions where people could input. And, and I just want to emphasize that people attending those meetings and giving their opinions do in fact make a difference. And I will give you a couple of examples. Number one, uh, the new Yacht Club, if it is approved, uh, it's now pavers between the buildings as opposed to decking. Uh, there's an employee space where employees can put their, their equipment away and not be walking around with cell phones in their hands. Uh, the biggest one was uh, the initial plan for this was the downstairs was going to be wide open to all the flies and the bugs, uh, and now it's closed. So the, there was input that was listened to, and I thank all those that participated in those meetings. I want to thank also those who came through the walkthroughs that, that Bob did over at the Yacht Club so they could fully understand themselves. And again, the public meetings where uh, the, the, what was proposed was explained as thoroughly as we could in that length of time. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank last year's board for voting 7-0 to give it a shot, as Bill Wentworth says, we swung the bat, see what happens. Uh, and last, I want to thank all those who voted. Whether they voted yes or no, they participated in this, this is how we work. Uh, and it's worked in the past, and we'll see how it all turns out. So with that, I will turn it over to Judy Butler for the results of the uh, referendum. Okay, as you know, the question was, do you authorize the Ocean Pines Association's Board of Directors and Administration to proceed with the construction of a new yacht club at the cost of $4.3 million? The yes have won. Yes! <laughs>
So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? No one. Seven nothing. I like seven nothing votes. It's good. Uh, thanks to everybody who voted. Uh, obviously, it's a very pleasant surprise to all of us and for that big of, a, of an endorsement. Yeah. Oh. Public comment. Yeah, I almost lost it there. Uh, public comment. Media question. Did you have your hand up, Tom? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah. Let me see your hand. I was going to say that... Uh, Name and address. Tom Bickerstaff, 29 Woodstock Drive. And I was going to make a recommendation to this board that if the vote had gone the other way, and we submit it to referendum for a second time, because we, on the Budget and Finance Committee, have learned that we have the same profit margin as the rest of the food industry here in Ocean City. Where we're losing one money and why we're losing money, we can't accommodate enough people with the facility we have now. We need a larger facility, and once we have that, we can get back into the banquet business and we will make money. Thanks, Did I see your hand? Yes. Me, I'm going to get through the, the uh, oh, public sorry. first. Go right yes, uh, Scotty Wheatley from 84 Hingham Lane. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, I just want to say that I think Bob Thompson did one heck of a job. to uh, personally, and I did say this to him until the end, I wouldn't have done this had we lost, but I did want to give Bob a heck of a lot of credit for all the work that he did, and Bob is, a, is a representing us and the past board. Thank you very much. I know that you lost a lot of sleep and did a lot of work, and you listened to a lot of people to get where we are. So thank you very yeah. much.